Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to add horn honk to a car alarm system that doesn't necessarily have a horn honk output. Say if you have a basic entry level or middle of the road alarm, even if you have a really good alarm, uh, but the siren in itself isn't annoying enough, or you want to get more attention to your car when the alarm goes off, there's a pretty economical way of going about fixing that problem, and I'll show you exactly how you do it. Um, right here I have a, um, a Wolo train horn, instead of using a regular horn because it might make you deaf. I'm just going to use this. The standard two wires, you can see, uh, 12 volts, positive and negative will activate the horn. Pretty standard. Now this relay that I'm using is again a standard 510 single pole double throw relay and I'm using a five wire pre-wired socket. Okay, so what happens is your, when your alarm goes off it sends a 12 volt output to the siren. Um, so the problem here is that if you wanted to add a horn, you could of course tie your horn in with a relay, but it would just be like honk, and it would blow up your horn, and it would make everybody really mad at you in your whole neighborhood. So optimally, what you would want to have is your horn to go honk, honk, honk intermittently. That's the right way to have horn in addition to your siren. So the way you do it is this. You're going to grab one of these relays. You're going to wire it up just like this. You're going to take the green and the black, and I'm not going to tell you the pin numbers because I have this cheat sheet right here for you guys to follow along with. Of course, you can always pause or rewind, come back to it if I go too fast for you in any step. So the black and the green are going to go to 12 volts. Down here I have two wires which come from my power supply. So I'm going to connect constant 12 volts to the green and the black. The black, of course, is one half of the coil, which is going to click the relay to do the action. The green is the supply power, so whatever I put on this wire is what's going to come on the output of the, of the relay. Okay. So on my siren, the black wire is going to be the ground. Ground that. And the output wire is going to be this orange. The yellow is not used. I'm just going to get rid of that to keep it neat. This is my output. And I'm going to put that to the positive side of that horn. Okay. So again, the blue is going to be the negative that I'm going to use to activate the relay. The green and the black are going to go to constant 12 volts. Wherever you're mounting your horn, or if you're just using a stock horn, it's already grounded, so you don't have to worry about that. But the, um, the wire you're going to use to actually activate the horn is going to be a positive output, and that's going to be the orange. Now, on your alarm system, you don't have any pulsed output that's going to send the signal to the horn, so what you're going to do is use what is available on every car alarm, and that's a flashing light output. When the alarm goes off or when it triggers, the lights are going to throw 12 volts, click, off, on, off, on, off. So what you do is you connect the blue wire to the wire on your, on your flashing light output on your alarm system. So what happens is when your lights go on, the horn will not come on. When the lights go off, it's going to rest low at ground, and that's going to be enough to energize the coil of the relay and trigger the horn to go off. So what it's going to sound like is this. Pretty, it's pretty neat, huh? So that, that's how you add your horn to an alarm system that wouldn't normally have it. Of course, it won't sound like a train horn, but that's, that's the gist of it. Enjoy.